Good afternoon. I'll give you all a chance to take your seats real quick before we get started. Good afternoon, everybody. It is a pleasure to be here and help welcome you to the city of Atlanta and the great state of Georgia. We appreciate it immensely that you took the opportunity to come here. Um, I have to admit, I know some people were concerned about the weather, but it appears like we got some nice warm weather for December here for you, so we appreciate it. I am here, this might get you all to settle a little bit. I'm here to introduce the governor of Georgia. And it's a pleasure to get to do that. I have done this many times and in many places, and every time I do it, it's an honor, not just because he's my boss, but because of what he does for this state. This conference is focusing on education and agriculture as two of its primary themes. And I want to tell you something, this man knows about them both since childhood. He grew up in rural Georgia on a farm, the son of two educators. One was actually a teacher of agriculture. He knows the education world well, and he knows the agriculture world well. He went to Mercer University, where he graduated with honors, and law school at Mercer University. He then went to the United States Army and rise to the rank of captain. And after law school, he went to private practice of law for 23 years, during which time he served as a prosecutor, a judge, and later congressman of the United States. As a congressman, he was an expert in health issues, and he's still considered an expert in health issues. But since he got to Georgia, perhaps the greatest endeavor he has undertaken, which is one that matters immensely to what I do for a living, is he has, just, he has put together the Georgia Competitiveness Initiative. And basically, when he got into office, somebody, he asked the question, where does Georgia rank in competitiveness for others, compared to other states to do business? Religiously? We are the top five. And the governor asked a simple question, why can't we be number one? And he has charged us and 23 CEOs around this state to answer that question. And hopefully by the end of next year, we will be saying we are the number one state to do business. The governor's proudest accomplishments are the fact he has a loving wife, Sandra Deal, who's a wonderful first lady, and a proud father and grandfather. Please help me in welcoming the 82nd governor of Georgia, Governor Nathan Deal.